Hello, if you've never seen me before, hi, my name is Yuki, and if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Today's ashiness is brought to you by the fact that I'm gonna be doing an updated eyebrow routine today. Quite a few people have requested this like over the last, I'm gonna say few months, and I just decided to now do it today. I know I, I'm really bad at that sometimes. There's no moisturizers on my face, no primers on my face. I just got out of the shower. I lotioned up my body, okay? So don't try to come for me talking about you ashy everywhere. No, I'm not. <laughs> just, just the face is blank. And the reason I do that is because I actually like to apply my brow product first. I do not put anything on my face until my brow product has gone on. The brow pencil that I use is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Black. This is the only brow product that I use. I used to use a brow pomade. I've used other pencils in the past, but this one is the cheapest and best quality for the price. Believe it or not, I used to be a foundation before brows girl. I'm not gonna lie, I used to side eye the brows before foundation community because I was like, how can you have brows on first and you have to go around it with your foundation it's just too much when i realized that this method actually gave me a more natural look that i actually preferred i stopped bad mouthing the that community <laughs> any product that you apply to bare brows no moisturizer no primer nothing is going to stick beautifully to the skin in that area and to the brows so i'm just going to be using hair like strokes to my brows And the thing is, everyone's brows are gonna be different. I do have up like an older brow routine that I kind of went more in depth about, but I do know that like there's this rule, I forgot what it's called, but it's like a diagram and it looks pretty scientific where um, you wanna line up the arch of the brow to the, I believe the corner of either your pupil or the corner, corner, the corner of your eye but you want the highest point of your ouch to be at the edge of the pupil. Like if you were looking straight forward, that's where you want the arch to be. You guys can't see my pupil because it, I have dark brown eyes and yeah, you know. I definitely do like the more natural brows. It's hard for me to explain this because I know my brows and I've gotten you know quite acquainted with them over the years. I'm usually eyeing the very middle and seeing which brow is lower than the other because sometimes that can happen. Um, I'm not too crazy about them being symmetrical actually no I lied I am pretty crazy about them being symmetrical but it's not to the extent where I'm spending 30 40 minutes on my brows like I used to this method has definitely saved me in terms of doing my my brows more quickly and um, as you guys know I used to tweeze my brows overly tweeze my brows and that's because they grow pretty straight instead of kind of growing in an arch over the last, I want to say, year or so, I have not tweezed as much, and I basically will tweeze this area here where I want that arch to be at and leave everything else. Go in with lighter strokes right towards the front. And sometimes it's like I'm barely touching my skin. With this next step, it tends to vary as to what I decide to do, but lately I have been doing this after the foundation. Part of the reason I used to get frustrated with my brows just growing straight and then sometimes even downward was because I didn't have anything to grab them, hold them up and sweep them up and keep them there like a gel. So I wasn't using a brow gel for a while and I'm so mad that I was so late to the party. But you guys know me, if I can afford to be cheap in an area and it's effective, I'm going to be cheap. So instead of using those $20, $25, I think, brow gels, I just use a mascara. So I actually use the Maybelline Great Lash Mascara in the shade Clear. Well, it's not a shade clear because it's transparent. Anyway, besides the fact, one, this is the only thing that I use that acts as a brow gel on my brows. Use this and I sweep it up. I'm not going to do it on this part though because lately I've been using it at the very end. End to kind of accentuate the brows, but you could do it at this point too, whatever you know floats your boat. So yeah, this is what I use, but I'm gonna be using it later on. I just wanted to kind of insert and slide this in here real quick. Now that the actual brow product is on, I can go ahead and apply my eye cream, moisturizer, all that good stuff. And I just like to go around the brow essentially. It's actually not that hard to do, especially if your foundation actually matches your skin tone. So that area won't get as much like foundation cover compared to other parts of your face and for me I don't mind that because I really don't need for there to be a whole ton of foundation up there anyway I used to clean up the top and the bottom of my brows now I only clean up the bottom which is right 
here. I'm using my Black Opal Flawless Concealer in the shade Honey. I prefer to use this to clean up my brows because I find that it's easier to control where the product goes. Whereas with cream concealers, they just, it's not that they run all over the place, they just have a tendency to spread. Um, more than I would like for this purpose anyway. This tends to be my brow that, you know, behaves a little better. Follow the line. I don't want any skipping. I want it to just apply evenly. So I'll lift my brow up and do that. Be careful though, especially if you're not used to doing that technique, you can end up placing product in a place where you don't want. And then you also risk like creating that surprise look. <laughs> and I'm just gonna drag the product down. Okay, so I can already see that from here, they're probably even. If you notice that the bottom of one is lower than the other, just try to fix it um, either with concealer or by adding product where you need to. To be honest, it's all practice. Everything with makeup is practice. So I drag the product down and sometimes some people will connect this here just to see like, okay, is one a little bit higher than the other? When I used to clean up top and bottom, I would actually use my foundation brush, where to go? This foundation brush right here, it's the Sigma F60 foundation. I've used this brush, this is like probably my fourth or fifth one or something like that over the last like how many years. But this is a foundation brush that I was using for a very, very, very long time. And I would apply my foundation with this and I would take the same brush. It would have a bit of product on it still from when I applied my foundation. And I would use this to blend out the concealer. And the reason I do that is because one, it blends it out even better than using a clean brush because you're adding a little bit of your foundation color on into the mix. And so you're getting a more seamless blend and you don't really want that halo effect. So I'm swiping away from the brow. Now that the brows are cleaned up and it's looking very sharp down at the bottom, I can see that I need a little bit more product towards the front of each brow. Now I can go ahead and take my mascara and then I sweep up the hairs. I forgot, this I actually do before I clean them up. I completely forgot to tell you guys. You can see that my brow hairs are definitely more lifted and two, it kind of gives it a more fuller look because the way my brows grow, they kind of like grow in a bunch, especially here and kind of clump together. So by doing this, I separated them a little bit, made them flare up a little bit. So it's actually looking like there's hair growing in areas where there is no hair growing. Here's what the brows are looking like once the rest of the face is already done and it looks more put together. Just a quick tip, you wanna make sure that the brow gel or the mascara that you're using on the brows is actually completely dry. If you try to pencil anything in while the gel or the mascara is still wet, it's just not gonna show up. It's gonna be slipping and sliding all over the place. So yeah, here we have it. Here are the brows. I feel good, I feel pretty. I hope you guys got a bit more insight into how I do my brows and the process. I feel like it's much more simpler than what it used to be. Techniques are constantly changing, trends are constantly changing, and your own preferences will also be constantly changing. So this is just what's working for me for now. And if you guys have any questions, just let me know down below in the comment section and follow me on social media. Be sure that you are subscribed to my channel. Like this video, share it, whatever you want to do, just go ahead and do it. But thank you guys for hanging out with me and I hope to see you in the next video. Lord willing, stay blessed. Bye.